kids' sermon. So thankfully, I have two lovely ladies with me today because I was saying I might have to do the kids' sermon to you all, and then I don't know if you know the right answers, so I don't know. I'm glad you guys came because I know you know all the right answers. <laughs> and they're always saying, too, when they're up here, they're like, the lights are blinding me. I apologize. We want to see your bright faces. Okay, so I have some things, some things today, and you guys tell me what they're for. Yeah, it's like, it's for cake or pie, right? Because if you pick it up with your hands, it'll get messy. What's that, Harper? Okay, why does it, okay, wait, I've got that spoon and I've got another spoon. Other than the color, what's different and the plastic and the metal? One has, one has holes. Yeah, it, it'll scoop up, or, um, yeah, it's to pull things out, but not the water, you know? Thank you. I have a set. Isn't that cool? Okay, here's another one. What's that one for? That's for, yeah, pasta noodles, right? So you're pulling out only the pasta and not all the water. This thing, be very careful with this, but this is a, it's very pointy, yes. And it's a big, sort of like a fork, but if you're a stabby for meat, there you go, good job. It's to pick up meat. And then this one, a spatula that just, all right. Oh, is that how you flip your pancakes? I want to see that next time. So these are all, um, they're utensils. Yeah, I had another one and the handle broke and it made me sad. But these are all utensils used to do something with food, right? It has to do with cooking and baking and actually serving, like especially the pie thing, right? Yeah, you could. Right, yeah. And I have one that's more like a knife for cutting too, but they're all kind of used for also for serving food, right? Because when your food's all done, you can't really pick it up with a little fork and put it on the plate, right? You need these bigger pieces to help you. They're all about serving. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about the verse that Pastor Denise, well, the, something Pastor Denise is talking about today. She'll be not just this verse, but she'll be doing other things as well. But in Matthew 28, Jesus said, so go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I have told you. You can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. That's called the Great Commission. Jesus was saying to all his followers, go out and make more disciples. But before we can make disciples of people, we need to learn to serve them, right? Just like these. So how can we can serve people? By, if someone's hungry, we can feed them. Can you think of any other things? If someone, give them something to keep them warm. Yeah, we could, yeah, hospitality, right? We could cook food for someone who's hungry or lonely or, yeah. <laughs> so, Serving these utensils just remind us that before we can make disciples or tell people what to believe, we want to serve them as well. And so that's our opportunity as believers in Christ to serve them with love so that they see God's love and then they, then they can hear more of the good news. So let's pray. Father God, thank you for your love. Thank you for serving us and teaching us how to serve others. Just remind us, Lord, and all that we do and that we show our love for you and we serve others. In Jesus' name, amen.